I've been using a vibratory tumbler with corn cob, but recently I picked up this tumbler and I'm using stainless steel pins as the media. Gives really good results. I wanted to show you a closer look at it and how it works. This is a metal drum and it's lined with this thick rubber insulated lining. These are the stainless steel pins. They're very small. They're small so that they can fit easily through the flash holes and get to every little aspect of the case. So there's five pounds of it in here. And that's supposed to basically last forever. You're not supposed to have to ever replace that unless you lose some of it here and there. What I've got here is about 150 pieces of very dirty, nasty 7.62 by 39. I've deprimed it and I'm going to put it in here. Just like that. Now I'm going to add some water. Like that. I'm not exactly sure what the optimal amount of water is, but I've used about this much before I fill it to about where the top of the cases are. Seems to work fine. This is Limmy Shine. Uh, you can pick it up at most any store. It's for washing dishes. I read about this online. It seems to be what a lot of people use, and it does work well. From what I understand, it has to do with citric acid. This has a very high content. And on the back here at the bottom, it says, made with real fruit acids and natural citric oils. And it smells pretty potent, too. So, I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. Next step. This is a rubber seal that goes on here. And then this is a metal cap that goes on. You have to tighten this down. Comes with a bunch of washers and wing nuts. Right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this lid on. My lid is on. You don't want to wind them down super tight. I mean, it needs to squeeze that rubber seal enough to not leak water out, but, you know, it's not like it's holding the wheel of a car on. And you don't want to ruin these threads or anything like that. These wing nuts are just folded sheet metal, so... Put it on. I tighten them like I would lug nuts on a car by doing a cross pattern. And I just go around and tighten them a little at a time until everything seems nice and snug. It's going to sit on here. This is a really simple setup. Here's your motor. It's got a drive belt that turns this and it makes this roller turn. This back roller just spins on its own with the drum. What I've got here is a little timer that I picked up online. I think it was about 10 or 11 dollars. And I plug I like to plug my tumblers in here because you can push push this button to activate it and you can select one hours, two hours, four hours, or eight hours and then it'll automatically shut off. This was really useful with the vibratory tumbler because I could start it before I leave in the morning to go to work and then it would shut itself off after four hours. And that seemed to work real good. Now with this setup, I understand that leaving the cases sitting in this citric solution for too long might cause problems so this might not be a good thing to set in the morning and then let it sit all day or all night so I'm around when I do this but nonetheless um, I like to set the timer you know go watch a movie do something around the house come back and check on it so um, here we go
when you set this drum on here, you need to set it with the wing nuts facing away from the motor. Otherwise, it'll hit that pulley. Okay. Now I'm going to hit my switch to turn it on. And I set it for four hours. And you just have to let it run. We'll come back and check on it when it's done and see what the results are. It's pretty quiet. That rubber insulated drum liner really seems to work well. Okay, here we are, tumblers off. It's been a little over three hours. I didn't let it run all four because it's getting late. And I don't want to stay up. So I'm going to open it up and see what we have. So here we are. It's gone for about three hours. The brass looks very clean, nice, shiny. Primer pockets are clean as well as the inside of the cases. Looks really nice. Unlike the corn cob stuff, these little pins won't clog the flash holes. So the whole case is clean. Just needs to be dried out and we're ready to use it. Okay, here's our 762 by 39 brass that we tumbled for three hours in the stainless steel media with water and the Limmy Shine. Came out really nice looking. It's clean inside, outside, in the primer pockets, in the flash holes. Very clean, very nice. I did some 38 special yesterday and did it for two hours. It came out very, very clean inside and out as well. Uh, really nice. Not quite as shiny as this, but very clean. I have some 45 ACP that was tumbled for four hours, and it's extremely clean, like this, but also very, very shiny, really nice looking brass. So as far as cleanliness goes, two hours is more than enough. Cut will come out really nice. If you want it looking extra nice, go for a little bit longer. I hope this video was informative and uh, will help some people out. Thanks for watching.